and welcome back guys so I'm going to be doing my review on Skull and Bones and why I stopped playing it I, I got bored so as soon as we got to this area and this next character is like hey I need to go to go over take over the stronghold and I'm like okay so that's the same shit we're just in a different location <laughs> that's what I thought when I was like sitting here driving over here with a boat just being told from the other guy hey I need you to go take over this stronghold hey I need you to take out this ship okay did that came over here okay there's new scenery there's new NPCs to talk to but it's just the same shit just you know painted a painted something else looks different it's just the same shit though <laughs> okay uh, so you see it from my perspective, okay, we did the same shit at a different location, but now we're over here and we're doing the same shit yet again. <laughs> so you see it from my point of view. Um, I thought the game was going to be more like Assassin's Creed Black, Black Flag, I believe it was. It's actually one of my favorite games to this day. And it is not exactly what's good. I thought Skull and Bones would be. Uh, I definitely think they should have had like quests where you fight on land, where you're not just sit there and tether to a boat all the time, going from place to place. Honestly, uh, I find it kind of boring when you're sitting there driving your boat around and oh, I gotta go take out this ship. Okay, did that. What now? Oh, oh, I'm gonna get attacked by rogue ships. Great. Okay. This is getting boring. You, you kind of see it from my point of view. <laughs> uh, I mean, this game would be great for anyone that likes to farm or really grind to get gear. But, you know, if I, I wanted to buy a game that did farming, I could have gone and bought myself, like, Farm Simulator, you know? <laughs> Not into the whole farming thing. I mean, I don't mind farming when I get really bored. Okay, I could, I could definitely come back and play Skull and Bones when I'm bored. But I'm noticing a thing going on with Ubisoft where they're sitting there saying, you don't own nothing, and I'm like, oh yeah, for really, and I want to go back to playing your game. Yeah, no. So, the reason I really don't like Game Passes or... You know, online server games like Skull and Bones is because you're relying on their servers to continue the function. What happens if Skull and Bones or Destiny 2 becomes low server pop to a point that no one really plays the servers? They're going to take the servers offline, aren't they? So you kind of see what's going on here. You've got the new gaming culture going on here encouraging you to get game pass but you don't actually own a copy of the game so if the internet servers go offline or you lose internet you're screwed you can't play it you know you kind of see why i like buying a hard copy of the game and have it downloaded to my computer this way i know oh i can play a game and not have to worry about having internet you know it's gotten to that point where eh, it's becoming difficult to play games period because now you have to worry about you know them making it multiplayer and multi or make you know you have to worry about people worry about game developers making the game multiplayer and you know the online gaming communities of like you know Halo and certain game platforms get kind of toxic uh, you know when you get run into a clan, they outnumber you 60 to 1, you know. <laughs> I haven't bumped into any recently, but on Skull and Bones, I did bump into two players trying to trap me in one spot so I couldn't go anywhere. But that's the only, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, encounter I had so far on here that I didn't like. For the most part, most people behave from what I can tell. You just see from my point of view, I'd rather own a hard copy of the game than sit here and worry about if they're going to pull the plug once the skip becomes a little pop, you know. Yeah. What happens if you can't afford internet and you've bought in a game that you can only play online? You're screwed, aren't you? So you see my point on why I don't like the whole Game Pass idea. I understand that game developers for Game Pass 
they're doing this so that you buy a game pass so you can access the game you literally just have an access access key um, the reason they're doing that is to save money and also get more money by doing so how so so every time you download a game and install it on your computer your ps5 your xbox developers of that game have to pay like a five dollar fee for it to be installed supposedly every time you move your game from one console to the next one let's say you have an xbox one you want to move Dead Island 1 to a Xbox Series X. That game company has to pay 5 bucks to a buck every time you move your game from one console to the next. It's pretty interesting how all this works. I actually had to do some homework about it. <laughs> but uh, that's why you're seeing a lot of game... Like, people that make games, otherwise known as game developers going with the Game Pass idea, because they don't have to pay for you to do installs, you're just buying the access key to access the server where the game is stored on their servers. You can see it from their point of view of why they're like, huh, if we base it off our own servers, then we could ha go ahead and control what we do with our game based on the server, and we can just allow people to access it with access keys. And you can see why people, why game developers went that way with things. Now don't get me wrong, Skull and Bones is a cool game. It's a cool multiplayer experience so far. I just don't like how grindy it is. And also, you know, I do like what they did with the store here. Um, so you can buy these things with silver, which I like that. I have no idea how to get these. Uh, but simple answer, uh, there is no, I mean, you can coin, technically speaking, here. Uh, say it's five bucks for this much of gold. Uh, the most expensive is 40 bucks for this much. And before they had it so you could buy coins. But now you know, they have it set up where you can buy this. And I'm like, okay, so... If you get lazy, you can coin. Uh, the other thing I didn't like is they're kind of basing their skull and bones kind of off of Diablo 4. So in Diablo 4, uh, the devs don't even know how to play their own game. And they're nerfing all kinds of shit that was fine when the game started off. And then they start doing season passes. And you can kind of see what's going on here. you got multiple games now copying and catting the idea of Diablo 4. Where, here, you should spend 50 bucks on a game pass to the next season that's only going to be like two or three chapters long. And you look over, I paid 50 bucks to play two hours of gameplay of new content that was not interesting. You kind of see what's going on there. So I'm aware that there's a new series here. I'm aware of it, but yeah, like it says seasonal. I know there's um, supposedly another season here for Skull and Bones. I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I don't know. I just don't. It started off with a good storyline, and then what happened is you had the player do the same shit too much is the problem at least that's why I feel that, that was the problem for me anyways it gets boring when you do the same crap and all you've done is rename the ship or character and it's literally just the same shit oh go take out this ship that scares the crap out of you based on size but all you've done is renamed it and painted it something else so it doesn't look the same but it is the same basic function so you kind of see why I stopped playing Skull and Bones. I got tired of doing the same shit over and over again. Uh, trying to work this way the best way I can without swearing too much. But, you know, sometimes swears fit pretty well now, don't they? Uh, don't get me wrong, some of this art's cool. Uh, it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't have enough interest to make me want to stay interested in playing it currently. 
I think they need to work on some more storyline stuff and make it less grindy. Um, pretty much. That's pretty much where we're at regarding me right now. I just feel it's too grindy. Let's see here. I left off on this mission here. It wants me to take out a lumber mill, supposedly. And I'm just going to kind of show this on the map here. Um... So it wants me to take this out, and it says it's level 7, but the ships over there are actually level 10s and 11s. So even when you're trying to take this over, you're getting hit by a level 10 and 11 ships, and you're just like, what the fuck? It's supposed to be a level 7 uh, stronghold to take over, or not stronghold, but settlement to take over, and you're being encountered by level 10 and 11 ships. Uh, something's not quite right there. I've upgraded my ship's weapons as high as I can physically go. Uh, quite literally, we're at that point where I have no choices but to get pieces of eight and buy stuff in the helm store, basically. And that's pretty much what's going on is, you know, I got tired of going to each one of these 30 minutes to fill one or to, you know, fund it. And then you have to go all the way over here, grab them, bring them back, and get the pieces of eight. You, you kind of get the idea. It got boring really quick for me to do these. And I understand getting these pieces of eight makes it so you can get unique stuff, but it's very grindy. So I honestly think there should be a way to have these pieces of eight transferred directly to your helm. Now, supposedly they've done something with the helm inside of the area, which I have not checked out, so I'm going to go check that out here in a second. Um, but yeah, pretty much the other issue is, you know, you've got to sit there and grind silver. You can't really buy it from the store anymore. And the places that you could grind to get silver, they've either patched or made changes to. So you kind of see the problem there is you got to basically sit here out here and attack ships to get silver and sell off stuff. Um, I think they should make it so cannonballs, rockets, and stuff like that, like ship ammunition can be sold for silver. Because I've got a ton of cannonballs and I can't sell them back to a store, you know. So that's just my perspective on Skull and Bones currently. Is It's just too grindy for my taste right now. Maybe if I get bored I'll come back to it later, but currently just... You know, not really my for lay, I guess you could say. Like, I'm gonna refill these right here while I'm here. I'll come back later. Maybe fill them up. Or grab them, whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean by that. They're no longer blinking red at me. It's all happy. So I'm gonna go check out the helmet update. I think I, it's where, where am I? I gotta go over here, I think. Uh, oh, I could just press C. That might help. Yeah. Uh, I understand that a lot of YouTubers and streamers are still covering this game, but you know, as I mentioned, it's just the same shit. Just different characters, you know, different art, different modeling, same function, just same. Alright, let's see, anything different here? Nothing different, okay. Supposedly there was a helm update, but I don't see it yet, unless it's something very different. Okay, so I covered this area. See, right here, you're, you, in order to unlock this, you need 5,000 of these coins. And, yeah, I don't know. I 
I mean, I guess if you sat here and grinded for a while, you could probably do it. But yeah, that's not me. <laughs> Anything different in here? Nothing different in here. Uh, maybe it's got a helm update, so when you complete the main storyline, maybe, is why it has an update, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, you kind of get the idea. It's just like, eh, at this point for me. I don't know. That's just the best way I can describe it. It's just not really enjoyable from my perspective to play right now. Well, at least that's what I think. Hey, if you like playing farm sim, go for it. But, eh. I, I want to play a game that's going to keep me interested. And not make me feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. And, like I said, as soon as we went from that one location. Uh, let's see here. When we were doing the quest for over here. As soon as we got done with his quest, and we came over here, and, you know, they asked us to do the same thing again. That's pretty much what happened to me. It's like, really, you made me drive all the way from here, up here, to what? Do the same shit again? But the only th difference is, is location-wise. So, with Sherlock, or what the hell his name was, he had us, I think he had us attack this settlement. And some other settlements around here. And that's the same thing that this NPC over here that's in charge of this place over here wants us to do over here. So you kind of see what I'm saying regarding reruns here. They're just doing the same thing over and over again. I get it keeps people busy. It's just not much of a storyline when you're having them do it too much. So That's what I'm seeing here is... Hey... Nice to meet you. Let's make you rich. And I'm going to have you go attack this element and spike fear on them. And you're going to come back here. Okay, you did your job. I want you to go take out the ship over here that's bugging me. It's just the same crap. <laughs> now, I understand a lot of people giving the game bad reviews. They're probably thinking about the same thing I'm thinking at this point where... Cool, I bought a game. I have a pirate ship. And... I did everything this one guy wanted, but now I've got to go over to this girl character over on the other side over in the East Indies that wants me to do the exact same crap that the original uh, area wanted me to do. <laughs> oh, cool, I get to grind for two or three hours just to upgrade my ship weapons to actually continue the main questing. You kind of see here, you know. It's like. Really? <laughs> don't get me don't get me wrong, some of the ships in this game are terrifying. <laughs> like the game from what I can tell, Scone Bones was mostly designed for multiplayer from what I can tell. It wasn't really designed for solo gameplay. And just the fact that you know you're playing online solo and you're actually managed to take out some of these ships for your main questing is a miracle so anyways this is my review on skull and bones eh, it was all right game uh story only was all right as mentioned before the things i didn't like i didn't like how grindy and farmy it is i don't like that you're redoing uh missions that you've previously done over here over in another area that's stuff that i did not like uh i don't like the fact that you can't go on land and and I'll do some kind of missions on land. Uh, I don't like the fact that you're tethered to your boat all the time to do missions away from land. <laughs> uh, I don't like how you have to sit here and grind your butt off and check in on all these little facilities every 30 minutes. Like, yeah, it's a great way to keep people connected to the server. But... Making them to go to each one of these and collect them, it's very time consuming. So, that's my review on Skull and Bones. I liked it, 
but I didn't like it. it it's kind of a weird result. It's kind of kind of like what Red, uh, the Red Bride, kind of had to say to it. He's trying to figure out when the storyline's supposed to end, and yes, he is one of my favorite YouTubers. And I'm looking at, the, at his videos, and I'm like, yeah, we're kind of in the same boat here. It's very farmy, it's very grindy, and you know, you, you never know when that storyline's going to end. And he finally just, you know, stops the video because, or stops his main gameplay through the game because, you know, all this storyline is all over the goddamn place. It's not saying when the game's ended, it doesn't say what's the next main quest, you kind of get the idea. It's very loose, I guess you could say it. So, yeah, some people will like this review, some people won't. Some people like farming games, some people don't like farming games. I don't mind, like I said, I don't mind doing farming games if I'm really bored and there's nothing else to play. Okay, then I'll just show well. But currently, I'm not in the mood to play a farm simulator. I'm in the mood to play a game that's going to keep me interested. So, that's just my response to doing a review regarding Skull and Bones. Like I said, I enjoyed the game up to this point where now I'm bored and I don't want to play the same crap over and over again or do the same thing over again, you know. Lost interest <laughs> for the time being. Anyways, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. Hopefully this review of the game, you kind of get the idea of why I stopped playing Skull and Bones. You've heard from me of what I liked and what I didn't like. Uh, please remember if you're going to play Skull and Bones in the tutorial area, don't forget the damn crowbar. Apparently, if you don't get your crowbar in the very beginning, you're screwed throughout the rest of the game unless you turn on a special setting in the settings menu. Yeah, I, uh, in the tutorial, apparently I forgot to get the crowbar. I didn't even know that you had to go looking for the damn crowbar. And I couldn't access a lot of the shipwrecks. Yeah, that made it hard to get coin. It made it hard to get silver. Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. And on that moment when you like, crap. Can I restart my game? Nope, you can't restart your game because everything's auto-saved by the damn servers. This is when having a hard copy of a game comes in handy because then you can go back to the last save that you saved and not worry about forgetting the damn crowbar. <laughs> make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Now you guys are on the same page of why I stopped playing Skull and Bones. It's just not as good as it first released, I guess you could say. It's kind of like Diablo. It's like, okay, we got to the end of the game and then they nerfed the crap out of the game and now it's not really worth playing the Barbarian because it's nerfed to the point that it's just not worth playing. But anyways, yeah, let me end this. Let me stop babbling along. <laughs> make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.